Winemaker Garen Elm stepped off a plane from South Africa in July 1995 and set up shop at Lake Breeze along the Naramata branch. Two decades later, Garen is known for making one of the finest Pinot Blancs in Canada. We'll talk to him from the patio at Lake Breeze about how the bench influences his wines. Well, Garen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember because I feel like I met you almost a, a week after you arrived here. You were a big name coming into the Okanagan from South Africa. So tell us a little bit about your start here at Lake Breeze. How many years has it been? And uh, Yeah, I, well, I don't know about a big name. I was uh, all of 23 years old when I, when I climbed up the plane uh, to come to Canada. But yeah, that was 20 years ago. It's been quite a ride from a small production winery up to where we, where we are now. You came here when Naramata was a village. Now it's a bench. It's become quite a prominent uh, sort of geological place to grow wines. Tell us a bit about the bench and your position here with Lake Breeze. One of the biggest reasons that I love it is just the, the variation. There is, uh, particularly in the soils, there's a lot of variation from, from place to place. Mm -hmm. Even in our own vineyard, you know, you can take 10 steps and you can go from kind of a, a sandy, silty loam to almost solid clay. And then the, the, the aspect as well, we're westerly facing, so you know, that's pretty good use of, of the sun exposure. And being on this side of the lake on the eastern side, you know, gives us two, you know, sometimes close to three hours of extra sunlight every day, which makes a huge difference. Which is about five hours more than they get in California. That's that's what they tell us, yeah. And the name Lake Breeze, does the lake play a, b a big part in your site here? And That came from the fact that down on the bluffs, right on the corner, if you stand there almost every day around, uh, you know, 3.30, uh, the wind picks up and, and kind of howls, or can howl across those bluffs. It's also good for growing the grapes because when it is super hot, it helps to cool things down. We have very little problems with diseases because uh, that, that breeze helps to uh, dry things off when things are wet. And Lake Breeze has really uh, become famous for Pinot Blanc. How did that start and what, tell us a bit about Pinot Blanc. Yeah, well, uh, the way we got started was uh, in, our, in our first year, we only made two wines. We made a rosé and a Pinot Blanc. Mostly, uh, having just got you, I really had no idea uh, what to expect from the fruit. So we made a Pinot Blanc and we made a rosé. And the Pinot Blanc was from the oldest vines on the property and it just it turned out to be fantastic. It's simply fruit salad. There, there's so many different tropical fruit flavors in there. And we also, when we started using some fruit from the Similkameen, added a kind of a flinty minerality dimension to it. But it's also very different from Pinot Blancs in other places of the world. Uh, we tend to coax flavors out of it here that, that you can't, uh, that you don't get in other parts of the world where it's grown. So tell us a bit about your fruit sources and maybe some of the other projects going on here. With the exception of a little bit of uh, fruit from the Similkameen that we use in the Pinot Blanc, uh, all the fruit that we use for our wines is grown on the Naramata bench. So between Penticton and the, the village of Naramata. We, we're doing really well with our Pinot Noir. It took us a few years to figure out uh, you know, how to work with it. Pinot Noir can be uh, a bit of a pain. But uh, yeah, we've, we've had some good reviews and, and the wine's really getting some traction. And you're sort of, you're working more on an old world style Pinot, if we could say that, or? I think I, I personally lean towards that sort of style just because it's something that I like. But, but we do try and have kind of a, a mix between uh, new world and, and old world styles with the, with the Pinot. Anything in particular, if you look back over 20 years, that you or you think differently about or that you've really come to embrace here in, in British Columbia? Well, I, I've probably got to say acidity. You can imagine a guy coming from the Southern Hemisphere um, and then all of a sudden arriving here and, and picking a, a Chardonnay at 24 bricks that has 14 grams per liter of acid. Um, you know, it was like, what are we going to do with this? But over the years, I've uh, uh, I've figured out that, especially with the whites and the sort of style of whites that we make, you need acid and you need natural acid. I'm not scared of acid where I, I used to be when I was in the Southern Hemisphere. So your lunch is pretty popular here at Lake Breeze. Uh, yes, very much so. Uh, we started pretty small, but uh, we've now grown to a, a full-service restaurant. Uh, we only do lunches. Part of our plan is about getting people here and trying to develop uh, a connection to the wines. And that helps having the patio. Uh, having the patio here also helps to get people into the wine shop so they can taste some of the wines that maybe they didn't taste during lunch. It's been a great part of your story. When we're in BC wine country, one of our favorite places to stay is at the all-sweet Cove Lakeside Resort, located right on Okanagan Lake. 